This is KAG's HD Sports. From Johnny Manziel to Johnny Mugshot to Johnny Football to Johnny Heisman to Johnny Bucket List to Johnny Hancock. It's been quite a year for the Aggie signal caller, but coming into camp, coaches said it was finding his backup that was a main priority. Saturday's scrimmage was a good showcase for those guys. Freshman Kenny Hill had an impressive showing in his first game like situation with a pair of touchdown tosses while junior Matt Jokel was 7 of 14 for one score. But Coach Sumlin isn't making any commitments just yet. Communication from the sideline to him because we don't huddle. Um, the ability to get us in the right play based on that. Um, the ability to communicate with, with the other 10 guys and the ability to, uh, to move the ball and, and you know, so I think mechanically and operationally, I think they all did well. The Aggies practice all week, but will only open practice to the media for two days this week. Tomorrow, Coach Sumlin will speak with media after practice, and we will have that at 10. Now, NFL fans may not be the only ones watching the Broncos and Ravens play in 17 days when the season starts. 2011 first round pick, two time Pro Bowl linebacker and Aggie Vaughn Miller may also watch that game and a few others. League sources tell ESPN that Miller faces a six game suspension to start the season for violating the league's substance abuse policy. The NFL and Miller's representatives are negotiating a deal which would knock the suspension down to four games. The final announcement should come this week. Going from good to great, a challenge many high school football teams around the state face, but one that few accomplish. The Burton Panthers fall under that category. Undefeated in district play last season, an 11-2 record in one of the state's most intriguing two-way players, who's also pretty tall, Lewis Brown at 6'6". And coaches think last year's success may help this year's team. We went 11 and 2. Um, made a good playoff run. I, I think that that gives us momentum going into the season. That experience and, and that excitement that we felt last year. I think it leaves our guys hungry. The Panthers play their first two games of the year on the road at Brazos and Chilton High Schools. Now shifting from the gridiron to the diamond, the AL West best hosting the best and only team in Houston. So I guess that would make them the best professional team there. The Astros in Arlington taking on the Rangers. Texas is in the middle of a 24 straight games against teams with a losing record, but they dropped two of three against the Mariners in its last series. And I think, Matthew, you would probably agree more than, I'm, I'm not sure about Amanda, but the best thing at Rangers Ballpark in Arlington, the food? I think the food there is very, very good. I also like, though, that great outfield scape with the suites and the offices. It looks so grand and kind of old baseball-y, if that's a word. Baseball-y. I'll go with it. If you guys are cool with it, I'll go yeah, with it. Yeah, sure. I'm still dissecting your earlier comments. So you're saying Houston Astros are the best team in Houston because they're the only professional baseball team in Houston. If they're the only one, they've got to be the best one, right? Because they're not the best overall professional team. True. Just for baseball. Oh, just baseball. We'll go, we'll go baseball. <laughs> just baseball. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> we'll have a last look at your weather coming up next.